Well, hello there, everybody. It is me, Postmodern Cowboy, and I'm back with episode number three of Going Medieval Season 2. Uh, we're playing on uh, the Aber Wyvern Seed. Um, Aber Wyvern is a fictional community uh, based loosely upon uh, that found in a uh, children's book, uh, David Macaulay's Castle. Uh, it was a 1983 PBS documentary. And I'm just going to move myself here, but let's see where we were. We were doing some research, we were getting some iron production going, we're about to uh, upgrade our doors. Um, that is certainly a priority. Going Medieval is a uh, community management survival uh, building game um, in the vein of Rimworld um, or Dwarf Fortress. Uh, it's produced by Foxy Voxel. Uh, and this is, uh, this is the second season. So uh, last season um, I played on a lower difficulty, right now we're playing on the highest difficulty. Um, just really started. This is uh, the beginning of the third hour of gameplay, um, and I, I expect this season to go on uh, much, much longer overall. I'm going to get more, uh, more sessions because it's just, it's just, it's just harder. It's so much harder um, playing on the elevated difficulty. They're going to sleep right now. Speed up time. Hankins old, fifty three. I mean, not to be ageist or anything, but. I'm 36, I'm starting to feel it, guys. Okay, we've got uh, Barley Harvest to bring in. That's great. Okay, and that's... Uh, I'm going to start setting that up. Let's see. Um, who is my... I guess Osgar is the harvester. He's actually my hall guy. Hmm. We'll set him research free, harvest to cut plants. Just turn that off for now. Also going to have her harvest. So hall. Okay. Bring in the harvest in summer day eight. Need to make sure that nobody is. Uh, yep, they're all. None of them are going to eat my barley. I did just recently move my cook setup. I'm pretty sure uh, I excluded. Yeah, I excluded barley from the cooking. Get all this limestone moved around. We have we have lots of food now. We're doing we're doing very good um, in terms of. Uh, available foodstuffs. I'm pretty comfortable with the way things are. The wolf is going to kill that deer. Trying to, anyway. Might be able to y yank that uh, carcass when it does. Okay, so I need I need to do a couple things anyway. I need to set up an iron stockpile. Let's create, uh, let's put it here, I guess, for now. And let's make the material iron and uh, silver and gold. Makes sense. I should take the uh, uh, iron, silver, and gold off this stockpile. And. We'll keep the sticks here. That's fine. We're gonna we're gonna need the sticks. Sticks uh, form uh, a good basis of fuel for the winter. We are gonna have to. It's summer day eight, so we're gonna have to start thinking about inside. And I've got underground, but now we got to start thinking about inside. Uh, maybe walling this off, heating it, um, so, so that they have uh, places to go that are warm in season. That looks becoming annoyed. Oscar, why is Oscar unhappy? Okay, yeah, inside. They don't like sleeping outside. I don't I don't blame them. It's gonna get pretty old after two seasons of sleeping outside. So who's my construction person? But if I'm gonna build inside, I might as well start. Uh, with stone, right? Like this, this makes sense. How close am I in research? 
Actually, I really need her doing research. All right, let's take him off falling. Get him on harvesting. Let's get her on research full time. Uh, no, no, other way around. Use she yeah, if she doesn't do research. Who's doing my animal husbandry? Okay, Kevin's doing the animal husbandry. Uh, and my construction guy is actually Hankin or Andrew. Andrew, yeah, is definitely the best at construction. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Cooking. I guess I could just do underground. We don't have to do inside right now. Like maybe being a little troglodytic. Is that a is that a word? You can be a troglodyte. You can be a troglodytic. Um, living like troglodytes anyway might be the uh, who are by the way are real people. I guess it's not just a it's a it's an Iranian thing. They're people who live in. Uh, or lived, I don't I don't know if the geology was stable enough for them to continue habitation after the 18th century. I think there are still some people who live um, in those homes, but um, they're like cliff, cliff sides, cavern homes. Uh, kind of cheap on heating, but um, I can't imagine sleeping under a couple tons of rock. Feels very, very nice. Oh, we, we got a new person. Um, of course, new people mean new problems. And uh, in this case... <coughs> Excuse me. A reckless burner. Miss Osborne. Good marksman. This is good. Not that I have the bow to give her. Um, she's being chased by six melee fighters. That's fantastic, actually. If six melee fighters show up, we're going to have armor and weapons um, without taking any casualties or damage because they're not going to get through those damn doors. Six guys. We can kill them all. Kill them all. Brutal thug. Five marauders. Um, and she is a restitutionist, so she'll fit right in. We're just going to, you know, again, I'm going to wind up building a cathedral. I, I tell you, this is, community is going to be a uh, very Christian community. Okay, miss, so what are your other skills here? Oh, you are bleeding, lady. Um, and we need to make you a bed. You do a bunch of things and you get a new joiner. So uh, we'll give her the stock schedule unless she's like a special. She has a night owl. What, what does that actually mean? Um, so I can I can make her get up. Or go to bed a little later. What I can do. Good. She's a green thumb. Does animal handling? She's a carpenter. Really, is what she is. She's a carpenter. I don't. I don't know what a burner is. Um, uh, in terms of profession, B E R N. Um, I guess it's a fan of Bernie Sanders, but whatever happened to that guy? Last I saw, he was sitting there in an armchair looking nonplussed. And she's a marksman, so she's this, this is a very good character. She can make bows and she can use them. Okay, I'm quite happy with this new addition to the community. Uh, I'm gonna make sure I prevent her from eating my. Barley's. I'll just, when she gets back, I'll give her a weapon. But right now, let's uh, just throw down another sleeping spot for her. In terms of jobs, them all fives, and then her actual aptitudes are carpentry, hunting. Let's have her mind for now. Got a little research done that day. Hmm. 
Catherine's not going to get much research done while she's cooking. And I really, I really need to start making uh, winter clothes. I can't let that, you know, some of some of these bandits when we kill them are going to drop winter clothes. But do I have any iron bars yet? Yeah, I do. I got sixty iron bars. I'm going to make research the number one priority. Okay, we have food. I looked it up. So there is uh, there is no good way to get clay. You can build a smokehouse out of stone, but there is no good way to make clay um, anymore. So clay structures on the mountains. Uh, normally, you used to be able to get uh, clay from rocky soil. Rocky soil would contain um, some percentage of clay, but now it has dirt. Right? If I mouse over it with the mining tool uh it says dirt eight right which is maybe if they add uh, water in future you'll be able to mix dirt and water um to get clay you should you should be able to make clay to make bricks i think that's reasonable no matter what biome you're in clay is pretty uh the rudimentary substance So I'm going to have her, I don't know if she can research, because I have one day and one hour, but I want to get these, uh, these doors. We're halfway there. We're halfway to, I might be able to do this. Only 10 in the morning. I might actually, uh, break her schedule temporarily so she doesn't, uh, she doesn't stop work. I need I need her to. If I had if even one reinforced door there, I wouldn't I wouldn't have to worry at all about this search party. Which now contains a fierce marauder. The difficulty level thing, I think. It's starting to get a little bit more complicated when you've got six peasants. A lot, there's a lot going on. A lot to pay attention to. Let's see how we go and research for almost twenty. Yeah, she might. She might. She might hit thirty today. That would be fantastic if I can get a reinforced door. I don't know if we'll be able to get it built in times. The you know I have the materials for it certainly. We've got a lot of cabbage seeds now, so I think I think I don't need to worry about uh, going to seed on these. I can just harvest them when they're ripe, and they'll be uh, quality food stuff. Something's going on with the herb seeds, though. It's a little concerning. Whatever. Whatever. They'll get all this stuff in. I just don't see I have any herb seeds. Oh, I do. I have eight herb seeds. Okay. That's good. I'm going to need those for next season. I want to get a full 3x3 three three plot. Hankin's happy. Settlers are exhausted. Andrew is exhausted. Why is he exhausted? What's his... Should make sure Missa gets a weapon just in case. Uh, sturdy spear.
No, we're not going to get the, the research done in time, unfortunately. Too bad. So sad. I'm sure. I'm sure it'll be fine, right? I'm sure it'll be fine. They're not going to. They're not going to cleave through. That many doors? Are they seven doors? No. While being shot, I doubt it. I doubt it. If they do, then I guess I'm scum saving. This is a little bit slower than and this on this difficulty um, than the other playthrough. Like I think the other playthrough by Video Three, I already had like the contour of my front wall and the gate laid out and stuff. And like this, I I still have no idea. The gate's gonna be somewhere over here. I, I don't I don't know what it's gonna look like in the end, but yeah, probably right right down there. Put one tower there, one tower there, walls. A weird building on the side of the hill, but it'll it'll look good in the end. I'm gonna mine out around it to create the terrain and the variation. What are we doing on hay? I'm just gonna keep an eye on that. Yeah, that's that's fine. Um, at some point, I'm gonna switch over to producing um, animal feed for the winter, so I can maximize the utility of the hay. Okay. He's almost here. battering ram. <laughs> that's, a, that's a big boy right there. That's a big boy. Okay, a couple of great helms. That's going to be a good addition. Uh, three great helms in that group, so I hope I don't break those shooting at them. A couple of flower crowns, flail, uh, and maces. Nothing really nothing really useful in the weapon front or fork, but those helmets are going to be a welcome addition um, to my, my settlers. Especially for archery training, if I want to do that um, later, I I do I do intend to train their skills a little bit in this in this playthrough. I didn't do that in my other playthrough. Difficulty level didn't require it. Okay, folks, you know the drill. Two arms, two arms. And get uh, Catherine and Kevin up on the wall with their their bows. Oh, still in good condition. They're not going to break. That would suck. I guess I'm just going to keep these guys here in case they break through, but I'll be honest with you folks. If they break through, we are here. Fucked. I need to make bows. I need, like All of these characters should have bows at this point. Um, so maybe uh, after uh, doors um, and tailoring, because tailoring is going to help us survive the winter, carpentry um, will be next. We do have a qualified carpenter who can probably make... Um, make some good quality bows out the gate. So did it there. Okay. There's the bad guys. Where are they gonna come up? They're gonna come up there, and they're gonna come up there, and they're gonna come up there. Oh they're gonna yeah this is good. They're gonna have long exposure times too. For fire. Where the fuck are those guys going? Oh, they're going across there? Okay, that, that's fine. That's fine. Katarina's got a big old two-handed sword. Just a fierce marauder. I need to put traps out too, I guess. This would help at this point, I think. 
Always nice fighting people who can't fight back. Oh yeah, we're broke something. All right. Okay, shoot whoever's beating the door first. My battering ram is gonna go straight through these doors though. That could be bad. I need to kill him next. Boy, these enemies are being dumb. The ram has touched the wall. It's a, I think it's a Rome, HBO's Rome reference. Yeah, this is easy mode. This is easy mode right here, guys. You're not getting in. You're already all dead. Look at that. No injuries even. I got some bodies to deal with and some loot to gather. Let's kill that helmet wearing person before they get away with our, our helmet. Come on. Come on, hit them. Hit them. Yes. Okay. That went that went that went swimmingly. That was uh, excellent, excellent stuff right there, folks. Excellent stuff. The wolves are already eating the carcasses. Um, okay, so... Who's got the best helmet out there? Great Helm, 77 HPs. Uh, Great Helm, 6 HPs. And I guess the Great Helm, the other Great Helm broke? Or fell through one of the walls. Oh, there it is. Okay, so you're taking that helmet. And then next in line for a helmet is uh, Oscar and Andrew. And who had that two-handed sword? There's a long sword out there. So let's have me uh, get the long sword. He's the melee guy anyway. Um, and actually, you know what? I'm just going to, I'm not going to have them take the... The weapons. They don't need they need bows. They don't need swords. Those can go in the racks. Okay, twenty-six of thirty. We're getting there on the research front. We'll be there soon, very soon. These captures can't be ripe already, can they? That one is. I don't think we have enough material to make winter clothes for everyone. Yeah, some of these, some of these people's winter clothes are going to decay um, before the next season. That's not a big deal. Let me tell you folks, I cannot wait for Anvil um, from Siege Camp. I just, I just, yeah, I've been looking, uh, I've been watching uh, Moy Dog stream, and uh, just, just the hype around that project is incredible. It's from the developers of Foxhole. It's a, a top down kind of uh, 3D uh, quasi isometric um, bird's eye uh, Foxhole clone, but like medieval, and it looks, it looks amazing. Um, I'm way more hyped uh, for that than I am for Renown. Um, Renown looks cool, um, but, uh, here the Scuttlebutt is one of the developers, Mr. Z, um, is like an out-and-out -out Nazi, like, like a full-bore, um, Varg Vikernes supporting Nazi. Um, so, there's a, there's a, there's a tidbit. I could do a video on that. That would be, um, I don't know. But you can go to the Discord and you can see, you can see the things he's posting. Um, and they've, they've all been screenshotted. Um, and he's, he's, he's one of the lead developers of that project, Renown. Um, so, I don't know, when, uh, when, when that comes out, I guess it's going to get notched right away. Um, uh, put, you know, we'll put another notch in our belt, so to speak. Uh, but I am looking forward to Anvil, because, um, I, as developers are not Nazis, they're really cool. 
and the game looks amazing just like that's i'm i'm gonna do so so many so many videos of anvil when when uh, when i can um when the hype when the hype train arrives um i i did not make it in the most recent alpha uh, sign up uh, i missed that one by a day but i'll definitely you know i'm in the discord i'm paying attention to it um i have an alert now on my phone for the discord when it pings um i had the channel muted but um when it does ping um i will be i will be uh, signing up um, and hopefully in the the uh, i don't know if i don't know if it's under an nda if you can if you do videos in the alpha i don't know i haven't i haven't seen any content out of it yet but god i am hyped okay back to going medieval uh, two of my people are happy research is available is that Defensive structure research. Nope. Still need three more damn books. I could make wooden weapons. Fletch. We're going to do the doors first. Doors first. And the tailoring. Tailoring. We're going to need uh, how many? 20. We're not going to attack for a while. Huh. Um, no, I'm, no. You know what? I'm going to stick. I'm stick, sticking to my guns here. Sticking to my guns here. Okay. We got all the weapons and stuff in did we did we leave that sword laying out there of course we didn't okay that's good uh winter clothes there's win winter clothes out there dead marauder corpses could be moved i don't know who's in charge of hauling but sort that out oh there's there's a lot of there's a lot of armor on my i didn't realize there's armor on my stock oh, okay now uh, they'll wait the hour. Everybody gets a little armor. I think we can take that really shitty Ambison. Yeah, okay, that's good. Now some of these folks, who has, let me see, who has the worst... Set her schedule back to more relaxed. Worst quality in winter clothes. I'm gonna have to check here, I think. So let's send Kevin to get. Best quality winter clothes. That was a good little boost, actually, for the uh, the community here. I guess I will send him to get that eight DPS longsword, and who just joined Nissa can get the. Okay. Defensive structures obtained. It's two things. We can build wooden traps and reinforced doors. So let's make one reinforced door right away. Traps, I think, take mechanical parts, so I'll hold off on that. I might as well slap down. Like I never I never I never do use the stick traps. I just I find they're so uh, tedious to reset, but Put it there. They're, they're gonna, they're gonna stand in it.
one of the key problems with traps is you gotta around people will walk over it. I think I think they Yeah, yeah, they walk. Whatever. Whatever, you know, whatever. Dare walk away from that. Okay, that's good. Reinforced door in place. It's gonna make a difference. I'm gonna finish mining out this room and move the beds inside before it gets really cold. It's gonna be a 36 barley. haven't hauled in the wood. It's just so upsetting. <sighs> Reminds me, we should, uh, I gotta, I can clear cut all this first. I'm gonna plant trees. How much dirt do I have? 120? No. 3,800. But also benefit from getting stone block cutting like that would allow me to build uh, indoor areas. Because I'm not, I'm not going to build with wood. We don't have much wood. You know, I've got as many wooden structures down as I need to right now. But I'd, I'd like to start laying out the towers and stuff. That's I think that's going to be a big old winter project here. In fact, Size is the other room. Just build some more shelves for the fuck of it here. Probably also put ice blocks on that uh, uh, manufactured material. Well, then we we can refrigerate that room. hailstorm. Do I have any crops? Just the just the cabbages. It's not an ideal thing to have happen, but it's not gonna, you know, if it destroys a couple, nobody cares.
so much limestone. Try to get through fall. Couldn't be. Is a normal schedule. Oh, this is fine. Okay, we've got what six people in the community now, so. need more wood. Just keep that entire. I don't know if it's easy to access or not. Probably is not. Who's my plant cutting? Catherine or Oscar? I haven't seen a merchant in a while. That would be nice if I get, uh, especially like an animal merchant. That would be sweet. If someone came to town selling sheep, so I could get some wool production going. Like, <laughs> They've hauled everything in except the wood. I don't I don't know. That is that is incredibly frustrating. this into a barracks ram. Complete with this an iron brace is fine.
want him to finish the room, don't I? Whatever, he's going to sleep. All right. It really doesn't feel like the hardest difficulty. I, I know, I know it is. I know I ticked that box there in the video, but it doesn't, it doesn't feel that hard. Those stuff, the fights, the bandit fight was pretty easy, and no archers yet at all. That, it's bad for me. It means we're not getting bows, but also means we don't have people languishing in beds. Like there's, there's new, uh, there's new infirmary beds too. You can set up a room that's like just, just an infirmary. now. Firmer beds are 45 book learning though, right? Same with terraforming. All the new, all the new things are quite, quite expensive to learn. Actually hauled in some fucking wood. Not much, but they did. They did actually haul in some wood.
Takes a long time to clear these limestone. That's six beds there. In the heated room, six beds. In the heated room. Door. Uh, there's doors. Internal temperature is 11 degrees. That'll be comfortable in the winter. I can raise that, I think, when I end that door. Okay. Next priority is the sewing station. I don't know where to put that. I guess that, that room I'm digging out there is going to be the uh, first workshop, I think. But for now, can I put it like... Boy, there's not much space there because of how I did that. Let's put it where the butcher table was, but then it's not covered. Hmm. There's no law that says that the stone has to be inside, though. So if I shrink this area... Six. Someone will haul that stuff out. Yeah, this makes sense. They're all still sleeping on the surface, because of course they are. Are they cutting the trees? Nobody's cutting the trees. Who's supposed to be cutting the trees? He is. What's he actually doing? He's still hauling. Now he's cutting. Okay, that's good. season. Three adept archers. Okay, so this is this is the beginning of hard mode. Uh okay, that wasn't ideal timing. 
What are we up against? Some mail helmets. Um, I'm seeing longbows for sure. We're not gonna win that shootout, I don't think. This could this could be hard. This could actually be hard. Three archers versus really one good archer who doesn't have she doesn't have armor. Oh damn. I'm glad I did the door though, but I might I might have benefited from doing more. I mean, I'm gonna drop a I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop a little savey save here. Um, and uh, if if this goes gets up, then I can always load from save, but. I can I can try a number of strategies here. You know, we can block the door off and just wait them out. Like, but I I, I kind of want I kind of want to kill those archers. That's the rest of these guys. Oscar, he's using that staff, eh? Maybe it's time for. No, no, I'll keep them as is. Just. Doesn't matter. They gotta protect this. The traps will help, won't they? Good start. Very solid start, guys. Focus on the archers here. Right out. God. Okay. Kill him, kill him. Okay. Good, very good, okay. Perfect. All right, that's good, we're good, we're good. No cause to panic. Uh, I don't know who's getting away there, but he's armed with a club. <laughs> Nothing else, okay. All right, let's... Get everybody back to what they're doing. With the added bonus of now we've got some bows to distribute. We got three new bows, so um we'll give Kevin one of them. And Andrew can take one of them. And uh who was the hunter who just joined? Oh Missa already got it. Sosgar's marks and skill not high enough. Thanks to Hankin. Hankin's also not high enough. Did we get a short bow? If there is one, I don't. Oh, there is one. Now let's give Oscar the short bow so he can get his archery skill up. Now, I think that helmet, if I'm not mistaken, is better. Question mark. Sturdy great helm. Three twenty eight to four ninety four versus a perfect condition. Twenty three. Way better. Moved uh, all the stuff so I can put the sewing bench there now. Good 
Bless me. Well, that was good. That was actually really good. It was a huge upgrade to our community's uh, fighting capacity. Overall resilience. That person is injured. Catherine. Took some hits. Killed someone. She's less happy. She killed someone. It's not every character's like that, but she would be here. Indoor temperatures, 14 degrees. These, uh, I mean, it puts out a lot of heat, but it's really not keeping the room very warm. I don't know, I don't know why that room is not warmer. It's because it doesn't have walls, it's got stone. But it will get them through this winter. How are we doing on food here? Still got lots of food. Gonna kill the fatted goats when, uh, when winter hits. Dismantle anything that's half health, even better. Anything that's sixty percent health and between flimsy and sturdy. <laughs> Who is my uh, tailor? Is Osgar has the highest aptitude for it, passion for it. Catherine is the He's just starting to cut now. Wow. Okay. This kind of sucks that my best woodcutters are also my best researchers. And my cook. Research cook or wood. Pick one. <sighs> Whatever. The game wants to send me a good woodcutter in winter, I, I won't. I won't complain. Might as well build another couple weapon racks, okay? That makes sense since we're starting to run out of And again, once I get um uh, whatchamacallit, once I get um armor stance, um which will be uh, one of the things I research first in the winter, um after probably stone is next, I think. But once I get an armor stand, um I need to uh, like strip their armor off so that they work faster when they're not wearing their helmets.
buddies. Some people not using their beds. Got six community members, but only five people are in bed. No, he's roping it. What the f fucking fuck? What is that? Is that a sheep? <gasps> it's a sheep. I got a sheep. Just the one? I didn't I didn't even notice that there were sheeps. No, I got two sheep now. I got a male sheep. And a, oh, that's amazing. I'm going to need to create a grip. Create a sheep pen. I missed that. Must have must have arrived. Oh, so awesome. Okay. We'll get we'll get wool production going. I just need to make sure that the sheep's stay fed at all costs. Oh, I'm really, this is a real, real haphazard build. Like, <laughs> this is like slapping stuff down as we need it. Living in a cave. But yeah, with a male and female sheep, I'm just going to be able to breed sheep like mad, and... Then we'll have wool. We'll have high-quality wool winter clothes. This is truly incredible. Oh, try the other way around. There's no clear all button. No, of course, there's no clear all button. Oh yeah, they added asses to the game. They get me some ass. Amazing. I need to be fed though. That's just probably actually about time to start making the winter animal fodder. Which you definitely don't wanna get your barley mixed up in either. Even a hundred. There's probably some, uh, and we're gonna wind up eating meat all winter, I think. Probably some. No, there aren't. The things that need to be harvested still. There's some hay over there, some berries there. Not much left before winter, to be honest. That's good. Is it autumn day five? So yeah, where were we at? Let me take a let me take a quick summary here. Um, everybody is well armed and armored. Um, we've got more stone than we know what to do with. Theoretically, someone is producing um, stuff, producing. Tailored, tailored goods, theoretically. Looks like Catherine's... Yep, she's on it. She's on it. That's good. We have an indoor sleeping space and... Kitchen space 
And another room, another indoor space in the works. Uh, we've got reinforced doors. Uh, pile of enemy corpses in the stockpile. Which is attracted a pack of wolves out there. Um, we're going to get one final haul of cabbages in before the uh, the snow falls. And uh, we're, we're, we're headed into the first winter looking looking pretty, pretty, pretty good. We're pretty good. Um, and we're, we're even making uh, the animal, the animal feed, which is uh, super important. That's that's going to allow us to uh, keep our uh, sheeps, sheeps fed um, throughout the winter. Well, we, do, we do have a lot of hay too. Like this, is, uh, this community's doing very well. Um, but, oh, Kevin just passed out. As I say that, why did he pass out? What could possibly be getting him down? He's just exhausted. Okay. I don't know why he's not sleeping. Something to do with his schedule? Shouldn't be. I don't see it. I, I think it's just the, uh, the workload. Just the workload. I'll give them. Uh, I'll give. I'll give them an extra hour of anything in the afternoon. They can take care of themselves. That's fine. Um, but yeah, I think. Uh, I think that's about. Uh, that's about all for now. Um, this has been Postmodern Cowboy playing Going Medieval, a uh, community management survival game from Foxy Voxel. Thanks so much for watching. If you like watching me play these games, uh, let me know what you think down in the comments. Um, if you don't like watching me play these games, uh, let me know what you think down in the comments. Um, otherwise, uh, yeah, see you in the next stream and keep it peaceful out there.